Uh, today we're going to be designing a building in advanced mode. So in order to get into advanced mode, you first need to make an account by simply clicking on the create account button right here. And then once you have a, an account created, then you simply log on and you get to this page. Uh, which is where you would start. You could either view your past quotes or you can uh, get a building design in. Let's go ahead and design a building. And you'll see here that there are more boxes across the top than simple mode and how you get into advanced mode is simply start a quote and then click on the setup button right here and then you can uh, choose English or metric, uh, simple or advanced, or you can uh, copy a previous quote that would be in your account. Uh, so it would have to be one that you had done in the past. Uh, so let's go ahead and do advanced mode, English, and go next. We'll do that, and then let's go, uh, go ahead and put your zip code in, and then we'll choose a building. And I think in this case we'll do a, um, let's do a single slope with uh, one post. And so let's go 66 by, let's go 79. Point four uh, building height. We'll start off on 12, and then over here, if you see uh, on single slopes anyway, if you let's say if you do one and 12, it will figure out the high side for you right there. Or let's say uh, let's go 1.35, and that would figure out your high side, um, however you'd like to enter it. So let's go next, and you'll see that when it's done, the the uh, green button here will uh, light up, and agree and accept. And then you can uh, edit these as you could before in the uh, simple mode. Um, then let's go ahead and go to the next page. And you'll see here that uh, uh, this is our single slope that we did. And some of the advanced features, you'll see obviously that the columns are there and they're centered. And you clicked on the left hand wall. And now we have the ability to do bay layout, right? four bays and that's what it chooses for you or you can do uh, let's go three bays and let's go 22 22 22 and then it will snap to what you've chosen up here on the top and then after you do bay layout and confirm that it's looking good then you could do uh, bracing and you have a whole lot of options for bracing you could do rod or cable obviously you can go cable the frame which puts the bracing up into the roof as you know uh, rod to frame and then you could do uh, let's say half loaded end walls or expandable end wall frames so let's go uh, half loaded uh, frames and that's going to limit somewhat your door height on what you're available to put in because the the amount of door height is limited by the amount of frame you have. So you have the typical standard doors like you do in the simple mode, but now you have also the option for custom doors, which would be you know closer to the end or it gives you a little bit more latitude. Or you could do uh, window framing and uh, like it does in MBS, you know do the do the width in the opening uh, height and then the top of the opening and then the offset. So you kind of have to think like MBS does. So let's go ahead and put in a custom door in the center bay. And let's go 12 um, by 10. And let's see if we can do uh, one foot here. There you go. And let's go on the, on the front uh, sidewall. Uh, let's do the same thing. Let's look at what the computer chose. 79.4. Let's, let's just make it three bays. And then you can see that you have bracing options like uh, rod. And then you, you could also put in a portal frame. And it only has one option because you only have mainframes on both sides of the uh, center bay. Uh, but when you do, you could graphically see that your portal frame is in there. And then if you want to go ahead and highlight that bay for an opening, uh, now you're available to put openings in that bay and fill up the whole thing uh, because it, it opens it up. And so let's go on the back side wall. And you've already set the base bracing so you don't want to mess that up or it will erase everything in the front uh, side wall. But let's go ahead and do uh, a wind column and let's do it in the middle 
there and so this put your wind column in there and then we'll throw an opening in that let's go 10 by 10 uh, let's go left and then in here we'll do a, a 12 by 8 on the right and then over here we'll do I don't know, another 10 by 10 and we'll center it. Uh, so it allows you to uh, fill up the whole wall because you've used portal frame or wind column. And let's go ahead and go over here and change that base spacing and say, let's go, well, you know why it doesn't do two is because you are 66 and it doesn't do 33 across an end wall bay. Uh, so let's go ahead and do five and see what that does. Okay, so you're looking good. And then put one in the middle here. 10 by 10 that should about do it so let's go next and now these are some of the advanced options so obviously you have the different base conditions uh, including low girt and whatnot uh, then you have bypass and flush conditions on each wall on this one you could set the uh, girt or purlin depth which is really handy if you're say in a place like Florida and you need to uh, raise your purlin depth to maybe 10 because of wind speed or something or let's say you want to put in, uh, um, let's put the regular one in for the door. Uh, but let's say you want a low girt or mid span girt if the computer doesn't already default that way. And you go ahead and put it in, or you could do spacing of any amount or, or way that you'd like to do it. Uh, open walls. This is where you would uh, remove a complete wall. Let's say on the left end wall, if we put a half loaded frame, which we did already, we could go ahead and remove all the panels if we wanted or remove, remove the roof panels, or uh, really any part of it, or a partial wall. Let's throw in a partial wall of, say, maybe four feet on that side. Uh, and then we have, obviously, overhangs, uh, liner panels. And we do this pretty basic because there's a lot of entry if you don't. Like, in other words, uh, the full amount or up to the default girt, which is a 7.5. And then the, or obviously no panels, which is the default. And we always include jam covers, a uh, color jam covers, just because we've got a lot of customer service questions on that. And now the next button is obviously the uh, where it would send to the server and grind the complete job and return it to the main server. So we're going to pause here. And you can see that when uh, it's done, uh, then you get the continue button uh, lighting up again. So we'll throw a walk door in like we did before. Uh, we'll throw a colored roof in. Uh, we'll throw a little bit of insulation and we'll throw some gutters on. And obviously obvi uh, only on one side. Uh, then we'll go next. And you can see here that it designed the building uh, as we made it. And there's your openings. Here's your frame on the left end wall. See, there's the portal frame right there. And there it looks like the wind column is right there. So it's looking good. And obviously everyone knows that you got to confirm the lows and codes to sell the job. And then let's go ahead and do next, which would be the plans. And I skipped a little bit, but let's take some take a look at, there you go, that's the mainframe. Uh, that's your wind column. So it's looking the way it's supposed to. Uh, let's see, left end wall, mainframe. Okay, then uh, we'll create PDF drawings. And when it's done with the PDF drawings, you'll see that, you know, the computer will come back to life and you have crisp plans ready to go.